Okay, I just went to my first. Uh, we thought it was going to be a garage sale, but it's more like a state sale because they certainly had a state sale price. But the best thing that I found were these records. Um, I paid, and some CD, CDs, I paid 99 for everything. We looked at other stuff, but they were pricey. There was a, they had one book, or that one set of records that was actually really nice, but they wanted 35 and it sells for, uh, wait, can you get it? What do you want the what CDs? Were those, I, I saw you looked up one of those CDs. One of them scanned at 25 so, so I was like, okay, if one scans a 25, I want to pay 21 for all. So I'll show those in a second. Okay. So anyway, here's the records that I got. I'm just going to move this so I can put these here. George Harrison. Another George Harrison, Best of Dark Horse. I did pay three a piece for these. I, I know they're worth at least 10 bucks a piece to somebody. Uh, Jimi Hendrix. Here. Jimi Hendrix Experience, Pink Floyd, The Wall. This ought to be worth 20, 30, something like that. I don't know. This is one of, that's one of the better ones. I took Rolling Stones. Everybody likes Rolling Stones. Yeah, they seem to just think the Beatles things were worth money. Well, actually, I got a bunch of Beatles, but I didn't get the White Album. For some reason, she just pulled the White Album. But the funny thing about Beatles records is... They're not always worth that much, you know. It depends on which printing, which pressing, so you know, all that stuff. Well, she charged you how much for the Beatles one? She charged me three a piece. All the records were three a piece, but most of them were BS records that that you would pay like a dollar a piece for, and then Why you would sell them for five. Them like I only bought the Beatles, oh. and I bought here like uh, Lonely Hearts Club Band, Meet the Beatles. I took anything I thought I could sell. His revolver. The Beatles are almost automatically always worth like ten bucks. You know, even even in not great condition. Introducing the Beatles. I, I can't. Oh, wow, that's a, that's their first one. Yeah, but they they reprint them all the time, so it's like it, you could say, oh, that's their first one, but it might be a reissue. It could be like 20, 20 years later they're reissuing the same thing. Like oh. Rubber Soul. See, I took like Jimi Hendrix. Everybody likes Jimi Hendrix. More Beatles. Uh, another Beatles. As long as the records are in okay condition, I, I, you know, there's no way I can lose on any of this. This is obviously Led Zeppelin. The cover's beat up, but I figured out for three bucks. I didn't have time. I don't want to spend the day, you know, because I don't have a lot of time to shop. Rolling Stones. Somebody will like the greatest hits because they'll have all the songs. Here's a nice Quadrophenia. Uh, I'll look at the record conditions in a bit. Another Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. Uh, Who Live at Leeds. I've had this one before. Leonard Skinner, Gold. I like Leonard Skinner. Michael Jackson, Thriller. This ought to be like 15 or 20. Tommy. And Imagine John Lennon. Okay, then we also got CDs. The CDs, we just bought them be because they were like... Uh, I gotta take my well, seat. it's like... New sealed. I think it's jazz or blues stuff. Yeah. And they were sealed and they were like Japan. Imports. Okay, let's see. So sealed new, they'll be easy to list. Or in sealed condition. This. Then I'll put these in a bucket in the back. I have to go through these. I don't know if I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, we've already gone over like six speed bumps. Okay, here's the records. Uh, CDs make that. Um, Big Bill Bronzy. I just, I scanned one of it and it came out at twenty five dollars or something, Charlie Christian. Uh, Sunny Terry, Sunny Boy. Oh, there's a sale there. I'll go check it. Yeah, go check. I'll, I'll come along. I'm Johnny Lee Hooker, Robert Johnson. There's like a ton of sales today. Oscar Peterson. So I'm. I expect to find. So I didn't expect to find Beatles. If I had gone through, if they. Like, if I didn't find start finding Beatles uh, records there, I wouldn't have gone through the rest because the record, records that they had, it's just like, stuff like Foreigner, uh, Eagles, uh, what's his name? Stevie Wonder, but not old Stevie Wonder, like 80 Stevie Wonder, Lead Belly. So it's just, it's stuff that, Big Turner. I see, as you see, they're all sealed, so it's like at a buck a piece, Muddy Waters. I, I can't go wrong. Billy Eckstein. Oscar Peterson. Uh, 
then I gotta put these away. Albert King. Again, I paid $99 for this. Peggy Lee. Even if they're only worth $9 or $10 a piece, it's definitely a win. Big Joe Williams. And I could scan these and list these so quickly. Light, Lightning Hopkins and Barney Kessel. All right, there's another cell over there. I'm going to go check it out. All right. Uh, last cell I went to. Before this, this last cell I went to. Two cells ago. Um, we bought four of these bulbs. These are Duralite, you said? Duralite. Uh, Duralite flower lights. You said three of them are the same, and only one is different, right? And is this is one in the box this, different? The, it says, I love you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We paid five bucks a piece, $20 for all. I don't have to show the other bulbs because this is what they look like. The bird lights up pink, like different colors. How do you know that? Because, where's the box? Oh, okay, I believe you. So, and then she told me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, she said she worked for the company that made that. Um, those ought to be worth about 25 a piece, something like that. So, that's a, a fine eBay buy, whatever. Three dollars at this last yard sale. I just bought some animals. I can sell the giraffe for one or two dollars, probably a dollar. I don't care. Uh, but then the dinosaurs, I can get again, probably at least two, three dollars for this. Let me see who makes this. Okay, this is a, a no big deal generic one. And, and this one again, it ought to be about like. Sometimes some of these sell for more money. Like I would check this one. Yeah, look at that. When did they do that? See, this house sell for a dollar. I've had these. Yeah, so it's just it's just generic bag of toys for three dollars. I can put it out for kids. Here's a turkey. And this is actually made of plastic. Uh, hmm, baby dinosaur. So I could probably sell, if I have the mama and the baby, that's Triceratops, I guess. Yeah, that's this. No Jurassic Park, but for three bucks, I made a kid really happy. Here's a, a pig. No nursing pigs. Okay. Yeah, the kid was like, ah! You know, he got very excited for the three dollars. All right. Uh, next sound. Well, we're getting there. No. All right. Uh, this sale, we spent $12. Twelve dollars. You spent eight on this. Yeah. What is it? It's charming Charlie, but it's colorful and yeah, I like it is. It. It's matching and... earrings, so you think you can get at least twenty? Yeah. All right. Um, this because perfume. It's got the earrings. Okay, so that's good. Bought a dollar CD Nirvana. I can sell it at the store. All the other CDs were a dollar, but I barely sell CDs at the store right now. Um, I'm probably gonna wind up at the flea market. So the only CDs I'm buying is if, if, if they're cheap or if they're good. And she didn't have anything that was good. Uh, ooh, that's uh, we sold something, Sam. And then I bought this Le, La Chanson. This might be good. It's half filled, roughly. Um, but I don't know. I got to double check this. This could be 30 to 50. I'm not sure. You know, I'll find out for sure. I had to do a quick check there. Uh, but then when they told me the price. It was only like $3. I was like, okay, I don't care. I just bought it. All right. Um, on to the next sale, I guess. Bye. All right. I kind of lost track, but I think I spent 18 at the sale. And I'll just go through what I got. I thought that uh, hologram pin Well, he nice. gave me a bunch of... I don't know if you could see it, but uh, he gave me a box full of cassettes uh, cases. I, and I don't mean cassettes. I mean CD cases. I can use those. Um, this was $2. This is a nice picture. It's not going to be worth a lot. We can take it to the flea market. These, one of these was dated 1980, so it's like 40 years old. And the other one, I didn't really notice the date on. Like this one, this was older, but it only charges a dollar for the two. Now I can sell this stuff at, when when uh, Halloween comes around. I'll just put that. Uh, you know, I'll put that in the bucket over there. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go through this, and then we're, I'm probably gonna grab something at KFC. Did, well, you said you does it say bathroom. stop? What? What does it say? We cater. Yeah, there's people in there. Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. Um, I'll check how much value these have. But they are made by Martin, and they're phosphor bronze, and they're acoustic guitar strings. Acoustic, 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 acoustic. Camera's gonna look these up. 
Uh, so I'll just put these here for a second. Um, the guy was like, here, since you're taking that, I paid 10 bucks for that. Uh, that was the most expensive thing I bought. And I bought this guitar polish. Then the rest of this stuff, okay, these are readers. But they were a quarter a piece. I can't get them that cheap anywhere. So I bought these four. They're very weak. But I can wear them for just sharpening stuff up slightly. You know, my vision's not horrible, but sometimes you put a really low one on and it, it helps. This, I don't know, it's signed by somebody. Copyright Susan Varth, 1978. It's a painted shoe stone. Probably has no real value, but it was like 50 cents. And I figured, why not? Uh, let me see. Oh, this I thought was... Okay, got a Dunkin' Yo-Yo. Yo -Yo. Sometimes these are worth money. It's an Imperial... It looks to be unused and in good condition, so that might be worth something. I got a... This is all stuff that if it's worth like 10, 15... This is a modern uh, MMA museum pin, and it's three-dimensional. and looks kind of like uh, spacey or something. Or uh, basically holographic. i put that there. Um, these, he charged me 50 cents. These are keychains, but they're all for the Bell Atlantic phone. So if these are worth like 10 bucks, I'll just do multiple quantity listing and just let them sit. I bought some keychains. I bought a cat dog because it was cheap. And then uh, uh, this is a mini painting. It's uh, an Asian motif. I'm sure it, uh, this is like dollhouse painting size. It may not have much value, but people who collect dollhouse dollhouses will buy miniature painting. And then I got these. Um, these are coach these are, these are, uh, coat, ooch. We've had these before. What do they sell for? They don't put, oh, this one doesn't have coach on both sides. Is that a thing or no? Like it's on one side? This one has it on both sides. But you can sell these at least 10 or more, I think, right? We've had those, you know? So I just figured oh, I'll buy that. And then I bought it with the cat dog. This is stuff that's so cheap that just, it doesn't matter. It's not like you're not even buying anything, you know. It's almost like you're finding it. I mean, it all it added up to a certain amount, but... Uh, what are you finding on the... I'm having a hard time. Sometimes these these yo-yos are worth good. Well, maybe they're, they're, not, they're not online, you know. Maybe nobody has them. Okay, I'm just going to put this bag here for now. Okay, the last sale we just went to, I spent $8. I bought some uh, Nativity Montanini fresh figures, the old ones. For the $8 I spent, it's a good price. You know, I ain't selling probably like 20 a piece or something like that. Here's uh, one of the wise men. He's in pretty good shape, actually. I'm gonna put, let me put my glasses on. It looks like his thumb's a little messed up, but if I have the three wise men, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, they were funny, though, because they had some better jewelry. They had a lot of junk. They did have a lot of junk. With a but they were afraid. Pieces of nice yeah. older jewelry. But why she even brought it out, I don't know. Because... No, just to show. What they're doing no, no, is no, they no, were no, fishing. No, no. She's fishing. Yeah. She's like, oh, I haven't had a chance to look this up yet. And, yeah. and the stuff that she did look up. But she's, she's no putting, prices, no sale. No. She's putting high prices. It's a garage sale. You're not going to sell it. And I told her, when you look stuff up, That's damaged. don't go by what people list it at all the time. Because sometimes people are crazy. No, I know. She actually had, like, a gold bracelet. I would have went to the car and weighed it to see if she would sell it. Like, make her an offer of money. I didn't want to deal with that one, honestly. I didn't even want to give them our phone number. Nah, you never know. They might say, okay, we couldn't find that silver bracelet. Like, but 20 bucks. What they got is... So I got the three wise men. One of them has damage around the neck. But these ought to be worth at least 35 or 40 Like, yeah, I know you want to give people tickets, but you can't pull over? Serious. So anyway. Um, yeah, so basically they were like, oh, we don't know. Where for that. And it's not that they were fishing for prices from I us. I have to look it up. Yeah, so it's like, like well, oh my when are you going to look it up? The sales today. She had know. one bracelet. That's, oh, you should see what that's going for. I'm like, <laughs> you know. Get out of here. It's, a, it's just a rhinestone bracelet. Yeah, she had one necklace marked 600. Yeah, it was a now, silver. We've gotten about 100 uh, for those, right? On eBay? But not 600. Not 600. But I don't know if that's her or they bought it for that. Because she had said she hadn't looked at that stuff. 
meanwhile, she has a six hundred dollar mask. What it was was sterling silver and Marcus Light, and it might have been black onyx. I didn't get a close look at the stone. Yeah. Um, but it, it's no big deal. It's like a Mexico one. I saw. With tangled, other tangled necklaces. Marcus sites and falling it out. Turn all the price tag on it. Yeah. I said, why? You know, why do you have it thrown in here with this other stuff? If it's a six hundred dollar necklace, well, why don't you shit a case there? Why don't you put it the in one, the case? The one, the one, said, do you think that was silver or, or just no? Yeah, it was like a, it was like Etruscan a Etruscan filigree. Yeah, it was a nice bracelet, and it had nice. It was solid. Well, you never know. She might look at. She might not find it. Say, I went thirty for it. Did you pay thirty for it? I think you should. I think that'd be pretty good. I couldn't show it really. Couldn't see it. Um, the best thing she had though, she had like one of those old hollow bangles. Uh, the ones that you pull out and they have the the metal, the the gold that holds it together. You know, they press a clip and you pull it out, and it has like an ex kind of a a, a, a gold wire or something. I'm trying to stick my finger in so you can, uh, I can't reach it. Let me try again. Yeah, right. Nope, can't do it. Ah, whatever. Um, and that, I would have thrown it on a scale and said, oh, I'll give you this much for it. Probably mm -hmm. it was worth maybe 250 or something, I think. You know, in scrap. I told her basically you're, they're you're not, gonna get they, they don't even want to think about selling it, though. Yeah. Which is annoying. Then don't bring it out. Yeah. Like, why are you bringing it out if you're going to tell me I'm really, you know, I didn't get to look this stuff no, up? No, what she wants is she wants your number. So when she finds a price, she'll call you. So uh, she can call me. And if she says, what, which one did you like? Just the silver? There was two silver bracelets. Okay. Um, one was older and the other one I don't remember. I didn't see it. Uh, she told me the one was marked silver, but I couldn't find a silver mark. Uh, which one? So, the older one? No, it was, it looked like a... Um, I might as well show where we're driving around. I can't okay, so so if she calls up and says like 30 on the Etruscan style one <clears> or <throat> something like that, maybe. maybe. Okay, all right. Anyway, uh, we're going to some more sales. Bye. I've been to uh, these people's sale practically. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever bought anything from them. Today I broke the streak of never buying anything from them. I bought these earrings for 50 cents. I think maybe they're Bakelite? What do you think of the post? Just costume, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you think they could be Bakelite? They kind of have... let me drive. Yeah, go ahead. Marie doesn't have time to talk now. She's Well, driving. this is an intersection that i got to be Yeah, this one sucks. And I can't... This intersection sucks. This is a bad one. Okay, in your opinion? Think this is a chance? I don't know. Nah, whatever. I mean, they look they, they look like butterscotch bakelite to me. So for fifty cents, even if you only got like twelve dollars, whatever, it's just something. And she actually had change. <laughs> it's like, do you have, do you have change? <laughs> it's just fifty cents. But sometimes I'll round up to a dollar, but th if these are not bakelite, <laughs> they're garbage. So all right. Anyway, that's it. Fifty cents. I was just telling Marie how how it's funny. Like back in the day. Like you would pick up this bag of buttons and you'd say, Hey, how much for this bag of buttons? And somebody would say to you, I don't know, is is fifty cents too much? Is a dollar too much? You know? And um not anymore. Like uh we these were five dollars. So what'd you like about the bag of buttons? Um they're bone um Oh I see. Oh there. okay, okay. So with the double holes, those yeah. are from men's like yeah. And um, I see some a, there's, rhinestone there's ones. There's a bone dice in there, too. Oh, there is? A little okay. miniature bone dice. What's this little buckle? I was hoping there might be two of them. And then there was a bunch of those like that looked like buckles. Okay. There was a mother of pearl. Oh, yeah, I see. Here's some more buckles. And I, I didn't want to look at them too close. Yeah, they shouldn't be gold, right? No, but gold. they could be silver. Here's the mother of pearl. Oh, no, that's... that's so, uh, here are the mother of pearl buckles. So, but isn't it funny though? Like back in the day, and they were, we were at the sale late, and there's that That's all the stuff is still here. There. Yeah, because it's like five bucks. Dollars. But I could put it on a lot. These for sales, bucks. they're like looking to make big money. You know, you know? that's how it's working because out. Because there's too many TV shows telling everybody how thing, how much things are worth. Yeah, so maybe. Everybody what they Actually, there's like none of those shows on now. Think what they have, as old as it is, is they, that it has to be worth something, and a lot of times but it's not. Think about that, though. There's, like, none of those shows on right now. 
Like, except for, what, the Antique Roadshow? I mean, unless people watch stuff like Flea Market Flip. Flea Market Flip. Yeah, but who watches Road that? Show. A lot of people watch that stuff. It's not even on regular TV, right? It's on, like, uh, is it even on? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of the shows just aren't even on anymore. So, it's like everybody goes, ah, the Antique Roadshow. I mean, I blame it. I would, if you're going to blame anything, I would say, I would blame uh, eBay. Because that's what, what we were talking about the last time we went to. Oh, another show? Okie dokie. I don't see it. It might be done. Uh, it might be. What'd they say? 109? Yeah. It might be around the uh, corner. It's around the corner, probably. All right. I'll go look. Oh, wait. Oh, is it that person? Which person? Yeah. Oh, it's around the corner. Should I not look? All right. Let me turn this off. Another $8. Spent. Um, this is nice. It's got all prongs set kind of garnet colored rhinestones. Marie thinks it looks like something for Florenza, Florenza would have made, but it's not signed. Right Usually Florenza stuff is signed. Usually. It's still nice, so. It was what, two dollars? And then this is sterling. I'm not in this Marcus slide. Marcus it's got black onyx on one side, mother of pro it's reversible. Yep. Wear it both ways. I don't think this is very old. This is a, a guy, you know, because none of the Marcusites are set or anything. This is probably from the 90s, right? Because we were buying stuff like this from the 80s, you think? Okay. But it, the chain is nice, you know? Let's try and get this focus. We're bopping around in the car. Oh, God. There. And then uh, I bought this. This is just plain old Abington. Abington's not highly collectible or anything like that, but they did make nice Art Deco pottery vases. <sighs> Here, I didn't see this. What is it? Well, it's the beginnings of a crack in a oh, handle. Oh, okay. Is it all tools? Yeah, I didn't see this. I'm probably going to not make any money on this now. Um, I'll take it out. I'll sell it for well, like five at most. That looks like gar garbage, actually. Okay. Oh, look. There's more cracks in it. What the hell? Why did I not see this? Look at this. Look at that. It goes all the way up the side. Like, where is it not cracked? <laughs> it's got more cracks than not cracked doesn't matter because you know this will way more than pay for everything but i don't know there's Should... only one crack well no there's a crack on in the, the handle, handle and then there's a crack running all up the side that's what i'm saying where is it not cracked would you pay for it like three bucks so i'll just get you three bucks back Ugh, i'll just i don't even want to i'll take it out tomorrow and if it doesn't sell i'm going to throw it away because i am not carrying this around arriving at address 421 you know? all right 421. Put that there. I'll just literally take that out tomorrow. And this goes in that bag. Okay. That is out. Coming up. There it is. All right. Uh, that's my lunch bag. Another 30 spent. I bought this. I, like, these were all over Manhattan, like in the 80s and 90s. It's like 10 bucks. It has a really nice frame made in Thailand. Um, it isn't really a painting, but sometimes these sell well. But for 10 bucks, I'm just gonna take it out until I sell it. And then I thought these were cool. Since we're doing some decorative stuff, like how could this not be worth $10, this? you paid $10. That's what I'm saying. So I'm gonna try and sell it, obviously, for more. Yeah, I wanted some decorative stuff for tomorrow, too. Then I got this one. I do about painting on Well, I mean, you go to the right store and it's gonna be $110. Lady told me she paid 100 Maybe she meant for both. I don't know. But if I can get, like, say, I'll ask 50 for the... I'll ask 25 each and whatever. I'm not going to be greedy about it. They are nice, so I'm going to ditch the labels that came made in India on the inside. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know. It's getting late. We might go to a couple more sales. See if we find this. Could be the last thing I find today. I don't, I don't know. Um, but this guy was very famous around the 80s and the 90s. He was, like, in all the art galleries. Yeah, I just had... This particular style of painting, so. Alright.